I'm Steve Ono, the author of Can Any Guitar, Steve and Dream, and I'm here to talk to you about three chord rock. We've talked about the idea that scales, every other note in a scale from the name of a chord becomes the chord, a one, a three, and a five, the first, third, and fifth of the scale. Well, when the scale itself is harmonized, it creates certain chords at certain numbers. And the first, second, first one is a major, second is minor, third is minor, but the fourth is also major, as is the fifth. So the sixth is minor and the seventh is the oddball. Okay, the diminished chord, we'll talk about him in a minute. But if I'm playing in the key of C, I've got a C, a D minor, an E minor, an F is 4, a 5 is G, and a 6 is A minor. 7 is the G over B or G7 chord. Back to C. Now, the 1, 4, and 5 in the key are the major chords. And if I play them in that order, we get the La Bamba. And that is a 1, 4, 5 in the key of C major. Okay? Now the fact is, is that the C and the G, the 1 and the 5, are actually much more important because they're everywhere in all kinds of folk music. And in mariachi land, they're considered primera and secunda. Then the third chord, the tresera, is F. Now that is absolutely correct in the order of the importance of the chords within a key. It is. The first chord and the fifth chord are more popular than the fourth chord, and the fourth chord shows up every so often. Now that's basic to most harmony in folk music, including mariachi music, including American blues. There's plenty of blues tunes that are just the one and the five, no four chord. Now, that leaves us with the three minor chords, right? The six, the two, and the three. Well, they become like minor league compared to the major league, right? So you've got your C chord, F chord, and G are the main parts. Then we end up with the A minor and the D minor and the E minor kind of playing bit parts, okay? We'll get around to some changes in that. But within the C chord, and this goes for any major key, key of G, key of F, key of D, key of A, key of E, any key has the same one, four, five major key structure. D, G, A, G. G, C, D, G. Same formation. One, four, five. Remember that. A lot of cases, uh, bandstand leaders in America will hold up one finger and say one chord. Four chord, they want you to go the F if you're in the key of C. Back to one, back to five. Now that's not the same in, in other countries, obviously. So what about the minor chords? Well, it just so happens that they work almost kind of the same way. If I start numbering from A. A, B, C, D, D is 4. It is minor as well as A minor is. 
so is five. Right? So if I start on A minor, A, B, C, D, E, D and E are going to be minor as well. Then the F and the G are major. Six and seven, back to A minor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So we end up with a minor one, four, five, two, where the minor chords become the main guys. And the major chord becomes a bit player. The other side of the uh, major minor yin yang. What happens in other keys? Same thing. If I'm in the key of C, I've got C, F, G, one, four, five. If I'm in the key of G, it would be G, C, and D. G, A, B, C, D, one, four, five. How about if I'm in the key of F? Ah, F is a little different. F, B flat, C, F. B flat is not very fun. I want you to notice that it looks an awful lot like A. Well, that's because the other name for B flat is A sharp. But believe me, it's much more often called an a, a B flat chord than an A sharp chord. Now, all keys also can be indicated by a key signature. The key signature for C is no flats, no sharps. If you want to be in the key of G, G, C, and D, E minor, A minor, and B minor, then you have one sharp, and that is your F sharp. And that means all of the Fs are sharp, or you can't have a B minor. Okay? Now, what about the key of F? F has one flat. Right? So that flat, that B flat, is there, and it also leads us to having a G minor. Believe it or not, this is a G minor. And a B flat would be this guy. 